Hello, I'm Susan Kennedy, Pretty Peaceful. Thank you for joining me. Um, today I am going to show you how to make a variation of the Lightning Feather Poncho for our crochet along in just two colors. Um, and the Lightning Feather Poncho is a bonus pattern for my book, Crochet Southwest Spirit. I just got the first paper copy a couple days ago. <laughs> It turned out so beautiful and such talented artists have worked on this. I can't take credit for this because so many people at my publisher just did such a beautiful job. But um, I hope you order it and I hope you love it and make some projects from it and really make them your own. Um, so you can pre-order this now on Amazon, uh, Bookmark Hub, uh, anywhere they sell books. <laughs> so our uh, Lightning Feather Poncho Crochet Along pattern as written uses four contrast colors and one main color. Um, so we're working each of these little three stitches at a time in a different color. So watch the other videos if this is the way you wanna do it. I like both ways, but today I'm gonna to show you how to make kind of this version in just two colors, a main color and a contrast color. And in this case, I'm using the same color, just two different kind of textures of yarn and making Cora a, kind of a modern monochromatic look a little bit more subtle. Um, so I'm going to show you how to work back and forth between these two yarns um, in a way that you can carry the yarn, crochet over the yarn you're not using. And this is all one piece of yarn here, the contrast color. No ends to weave in. Um, and we can just keep going with the same two yarns back and forth. So that's the advantage of this method. And for this um, poncho, I'm using the contrast color for the the lacing cords and for the tassels as well. So you make the macrame tassel as usual, but just use that same contrast color as all four colors. So today I'm gonna to be making one in Bernat Baby Velvet. I'm gonna zoom in a bit here. As my main color. And I have a few different options for the contrast color. I'm actually gonna zoom back out. <laughs> Uh, I went to the closest big city here. We have very limited yarn shopping options here in the Four Corners area of Southwest. Um, but we do have a big city called Farmington, New Mexico. Um, and me and my best friend Rachel went there shopping. Uh, shout out to Rachel. Thanks for coming with me <laughs> and helping me pick these colors out. So um, the color I'm going to be using for my main color is Vapor Gray. Uh, of Bernat Baby Velvet, and it's the same weight as the Lion Brand Pima Cotton that I used for the original Lightning Feather Poncho. It's medium, worsted weight four, recommends a five millimeter hook size. So when choosing a contrast color, look for a yarn that is also medium weight category four and a five millimeter hook size. So I got some options for kind of seeing which was gonna match with this, but also pop a little bit because like the black version that I made, the colors are so subtle, you can't really notice the motif, which is cool in its own way. But um, I wanna see which of these colors will match the best with my Bernat Baby Velvet in Vapor Gray here. So here's an old favorite. Um, this is Heathered Gray, uh, Gray Heather, color of Caron Simply Soft. Um, I love this color. It uh, matches really well with a lot of yarns. Um, I used it for a cozy yogi wrap. <laughs> which um, you can find that pattern in my book, Crochet Southwest Spirit, um, mixed with Lion Brand Mandala yarn, and it turned out so beautifully. Um, so I got another color of Caron Simply Soft. This one is Feathered Gray, um, just a little bit lighter, more silvery option. Then I got another Lion Brand yarn here, um, Heartland. It's also a medium category four. This one recommends a six millimeter hook. You know, it feels a little bit bulkier, but I think it will work well. Um, I forgot to mention the, the contrast color yarn I used here. This is also Bernat Baby Velvet main color yarn. And for the contrast color yarn, I chose Lion Brand Pound of Love, which is slightly thicker, but I don't think you can really tell on the motif. You know, as long as you're mixing yarns of the same weight, like all medium worsted weight, it should be fine. So this is Lion Brand Heartland yarn in the colorway White Sands. I thought that was kind of pretty and it really matches kind of the lighter tones of the velvet. And then finally, I have uh, Big Twist Living, which is one of Joanne's uh, store brands. It's also a medium. This one also feels kind of thicker. Um, so I've kind of narrowed it down my mind to these two Karen Simply Soft colors. 
just because I feel like the shine of these really will look great against the velvet. And, you know, trying to choose a color here, I think I'm going to go for the brighter one. Uh, feathered gray here, feathered gray. Just because I love that it has the name feather in it. <laughs> and we're making a lightning feather poncho. So why not? So I have one I already started here. And I've worked part one of the pattern already. Um, and here I'm making the 2X to 3X size. I'm using my 5.5 millimeter hook, just as usual. Um, so we're going to start part two of the color work. I am making the 2X to 3X size for myself this time just to make it really roomy and comfy. It's still very cold. It's been snowing all day, even in April here in the mountains. I'm still feeling my need for warmth. <laughs> um, that's uh, the price you pay for living in the mountains. Spring comes late. <laughs> okay, so we started part two of the pattern. Our first color work row here. Um, working from the edge. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So in that first color work row one, you will work um, either 27, 35, 41, or 47 plain double crochet stitches in your main color, depending on what size you're making. Um, so I'm going to work the first 41 stitches because I'm making my 2x to 3x size. And then don't finish that last double crochet stitch yet. We're going to yarn over with the contrast color that we've chosen. So my Caron Simply Soft and Feathered Gray. These yarns are both from Yarnspirations, <clears throat> and um, you can order them at yarnspirations.com. I love, I use a lot of Yarnspirations yarn. So now we're gonna start our color work section, and the pattern as written says to work three stitches contrast color one, three stitches contrast color two, three stitches contrast color three, and three stitches contrast color four. So that's a total of 12 contrast color stitches. So since we're only using one contrast color, we're just going to work those 12 stitches. I'm going to crochet over my tail like I normally like to, and I'm also going to crochet over the main color. So we kind of lay both of those colors right on top of our row. Let me see if I can go in even more here. And we're just going to pretend they aren't there and just crochet around them. So we're going to yarn over our hook just as usual. Insert the hook into the stitch. Kind of gently hold those two yarns on top as you yarn over and pull through. And then we'll finish the double crochet stitch as usual. So we're hiding both of these yarns in the um, inside the stitch. So we're gonna keep going and work 12 stitches in the contrast color, but don't finish that 12th stitch yet. And after a couple stitches, I'm gonna drop my my yarn tail, I can weave it in. I just like to anchor a little bit. So now I'm just gonna carry the main color yarn. That's my fourth stitch there in contrast color. So I like to hold the contrast color yarn slightly to the front because I find as I work the stitch, this carried yarn moves further back. And for me with my tension, if it's kind of hanging out um, loose across the back, I tend to, like later I'll find a little loop of it somewhere that didn't get pulled tight. So what I like to do is kind of pinch my work with my between my thumb and my finger and hold that carried yarn slightly to the front as I'm crocheting around it so that when it rolls back slightly, it just lines up perfectly. That is what works for me. So we will work our 12 stitches, but really work only 11 and a half. Don't finish that 12th stitch yet. Let's see how many I have. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Here's 11. And here's my 12th contrast color stitch. So don't do the last yarn over and pull through yet. We are going to yarn over with the main color. And finish that stitch. And now we're going to work 9 stitches in the main color. And now I'm going to carry the contrast color yarn. Do the same thing, kind of hold it slightly to the front on, on top of the previous stitches so that when you work your double crochet stitch, it is completely hidden in that velvet yarn. It hid really well um, in my black one, my black poncho there with the Line Brand Pound of Love that 
with a, that was a slightly thicker contrast color. This Karen Simply Soft is a little bit thinner. Let's see, we got two, four, six, seven, eight, and here's our ninth stitch. We're not going to finish it yet. And instead, we're going to pick the contrast color yarn back up and finish that stitch. And then we will work 12 contrast color stitches. That is taking the place of the three contrast color one, three contrast color two, three contrast color three, and three contrast color four stitches. So with this method, this is kind of like the two color, color work crochet, Southwestern Tapestry. <laughs> so this is the method you will use for um, blankets in Crochet Southwest Spirit, like the Globe Trekker Throw. Um, the um, Canyon Moon Blanket um, is great for that. Whenever you're working back and forth between two colors, uh, it's also good for the Lone Mesa Tote and the Lone Mesa Pillows if you're using a gradient yarn. Um, yeah, and then even the Land of Enchantment Blanket, you can work like this. Um, although for the samples in the book, um, I used the, the method I showed in the other videos of working each little section from its own ball of color. So let's see, do we have 12 yet? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 10, 12. So that was my 12th stitch, so I'm gonna not finish that one yet. And drop the contrast color one, pick up our main color, and at this point, that's the end of our contrast colors for the row. We've used all the contrast color up, and now we're gonna work the last 27, 35, 41, or 47 stitches in the main color yarn depending on which size you're making. So at this point, we can drop our contrast color and just work the rest of the row in the main color yarn. Now, could you carry the main color or carry both colors, you know, all throughout the whole row? Yes, you could. Um, I prefer not to because when the colors show through, it does kind of irritate me a little bit. <laughs> I'm not like too much of a perfectionist about it, but if I'm getting a lot of colors show through, um, meaning like, the main color showing through when it's being carried through these contrast colors. You can't really see it yet because um, we don't have any like solid blocks of contrast color together. Um, sometimes you get a little bit of show through. Um, it, one thing that reduces that is if you only carry the yarn when you need it over here in the motif, like the center of the poncho, and then drop it and work the sides in the main color. Um, it does make the yarn thicker when you're carrying both. Um, two yarns at a time, it does make it slightly thicker. So if you really want like a burly, waterproof, weatherproof poncho, um, you know, maybe consider carrying both yarns throughout the whole thing if you want. Um, if you are getting a lot of color show through, one thing you can do is reduce your hook size. I wouldn't recommend it for this poncho necessarily because you want some drape on this, but on a blanket, you can always go down a, a hook size if it's showing through a lot, or you can try a different combination of yarns. Sometimes, you know, some yarns work really well together for um, this kind of tapestry crochet where we're carrying yarns. I think Karen Simply Soft and Lion Brand Mandala work very well together. I've used those for several blankets. Um, and I think the Lion Brand Pound of Love and the Bernat Baby Velvet work really well together. Um, and obviously, if you have two different colors of the same yarn, they're gonna work well together. You know, for example, if you're using two different colors of Bernat Baby Velvet or two different colors of Karen Simply Soft, um, then you don't even have to worry about how well they're going to match up. So I'm going to work to the end of my row here, um, and I'm going to flip over and kind of show you how um, to, to pull the yarns over to where you need it. It's very similar to the previous video um, or with four contrast colors. You just kind of pull the yarn to where you need it, and crochet over it as needed, and um, it kind of gets hidden in there. Okay, I got a little knot in my main color yarn over here. <laughs> it's kind of causing me a tangle. But carrying the colors is great for velvet because one trouble I have with velvet is weaving in the ends. So by using only two colors here, you can really keep this as a continuous one long, you know, uh, 
you can do the whole front from one skein if you're uh, making one of the smaller sizes. Um, I'm making the 2X to 3X size, and I'm going to need about two and a half skeins of the Bernat Baby Velvet. Um, I think all the sizes are going to need at least two skates, but that's kind of one for the front and one for the back. You may be able to get the front out of just one skein, no velvet ends to weave in except for the start and the end. So another thing I want to mention is when you're crocheting with two yarns um, and you're switching back and forth between the yarns, sometimes it's easy for the yarns to get tangled. <clears throat> so what I like to do is keep one yarn on the floor and one yarn on my lap, um, or kind of one yarn to the front and one yarn to the back of me when it's at my side and I'm crocheting. And whenever you drop the yarn, you drop the yarn back toward that ball. Um, you know, drop it to the front or drop it to the back, depending on whether the ball's on the front or the back. When I first started doing this kind of crochet, I would just always drop the yarn to the back um, at every color change. And then your balls of yarn end up winding around each other, and you have to stop every so often to untangle, which is not the end of the world, but <laughs> um, I am not one of those people that loves undoing knots, like, for fun, so... <laughs> I generally try to avoid tangling with a little preventative medicine if I can. So for row two of our color work, we are going to work the first 30 for the extra small to medium, 38 for the large to extra large, 44 for the 2x to 3x, or 50 stitches for the 4x to 5x in our main color yarn. Same kind of method as if we as if we were using four colors. So we're gonna keep crocheting over to our motif here. And I'll kind of show you what I mean on these color changes as far as drop where to drop the yarn, keeping one yarn in back and one yarn in front here. So I have my velvet kind of like further away from me and the contrast color a little closer. Crochet over to where I need to be here. So your uh, last three stitches of row two uh, of the color work rows should be worked over the first three contrast color stitches here. So these are all going to be main color stitches here. We need to carry this yarn over so that we can pick it up when we need it. So we're going to lay it on top of our row of crochet fabric. I like to pull it straight up and then kind of put it on top so that when I work that first stitch over that contrast color, it's kind of making a right angle here. It's getting Hold up there properly, nice and snug. We don't want to leave any loops. And it's my second to last stitch. And then this one is 44 for me because I'm making the 2X to 3X size. I'm going to zoom back in a little bit. So I was crocheting with this main color yarn, and I'm going to drop it to the back because my, my ball of velvet is back there. And whenever I drop my contrast color yarn, I drop it to the front because I'm holding the contrast color yarn more to the front. Now the next part of row two is we are going to work um, 12 contrast color stitches. So we're going to use the contrast color to complete that last stitch of the main color. And we're going to pull our main color over. So we're going to carry it along with us until we need it. And just hold it over that contrast color row. Pull slightly to the front and just crochet around it. Hide it inside. I'm not tugging necessarily but just make sure it's being pulled taut um, because at each color change here that's when you really want to make sure you're pulling out all the slack some people um, find that they need to stop and tug it more often but if you can just kind of maintain tension so you're not leaving any big loops toward the back that is enough don't uh, pull too hard what happens if you pull too hard I'll show you like Here's where our main color and contrast color junction is. If you're pulling really hard on this, it squashes down those last few main color stitches. 
and you can pull it back straight if that does happen and you end up pulling it too hard. In the Mochila crochet tradition um, of the Wayu tribe in Colombia, I've learned a little bit about their crochet technique as taught by Marion Verloop, um, who I believe is from the Netherlands. She calls that modeling the stitches. You're kind of modeling them into shape at color changes. It's a lot more intricate <laughs> because those bags are like, uh, you know, fine weight cotton and two millimeter hook, really tiny stitches, and very frequent color changes. So we got two, four, six, eight, ten. I'm on my 11th stitch. I'm gonna work the 12th stitch here and I'm gonna drop the yarn to the front. So that's preventing it from getting tangled with my main color yarn. And I'm gonna pick up the main color yarn over to complete that last stitch of the contrast color and then work three main color stitches. And I'm not gonna finish that third stitch. I'm gonna drop main color to the back, pick up my contrast color from the front here, pull the main color over to carry it, and work 12 contrast color stitches. So we're pulling that main color along until we need it, hiding it inside the stitches right at the bottom. So you can see it running through there, but not really, you know, from far away. It's not going to be too noticeable. Nobody's going to be eyeballing your garment that close. <laughs> um, and yeah, if you use two very similar yarns, it does tend to hide better if you're using like two yarns of the same brand. Um, I think a black and white one would be really cool, like a black poncho with a white motif in the center. It's really striking. And I love kind of black and white southwestern motifs when I see them around here. Um, normally I love a lot of color, but the monochromatic, there's just, I love the simple beauty of that kind of color scheme. Okay, so I've worked my 12th contrast color stitch. I'm gonna drop that yarn to the front um, and just drop it for the whole row because we're not gonna use it anymore in this row. And pick my main color up and Crochet out the rest of my row here with just main color yarn. So 30 stitches for the extra small and the medium, 38 for the large to extra large, 44 for the 2x to 3x, or 50 for the 4x to 5x. So I think I forgot to mention, if you're doing this method with just two colors, one main color and one contrast color, um, you'll only need about 150 yards or how many meters that is? 137 meters of the contrast color. Um, compared to having to buy like four different colors. So this is another good kind of yarn saving way if you don't have four colors because sometimes it's hard to get five colors to all work together really of any one yarn brand. So you'll continue working like that. Just substitute anytime it says um, contrast color one, contrast color two, contrast color three, or contrast color four. Just use the one contrast color you have and keep carrying the yarn until you need it <clears throat> um, within the motif here. And just kind of um, change colors by yarning over with the new color to finish the last stitch of the old color. And as far as the sh show through here between these two yarns, this is my first time trying these together. I think this is going to look really neat. Uh, so I will check back in and maybe try to take another video of how this turned out with these two contrast colors. But I think I am glad that I picked the lighter um, Karen Simply Soft to go with the darker velvet to really make it pop. It's still kind of subtle in real life. Um, here it's kind of a cloudy, snowy day here. <laughs> maybe in bright light it would look different, but... Um, all right, well, subscribe to be, uh, get a notification when part three of the pattern comes out. And I hope you're having a lot of fun with the crochet along. Post on Instagram with hashtag Crochet Southwest Spirit to be entered to win a copy of my book, Crochet Southwest Spirit, and a yarn bundle with 14 balls of Lion Brand Pima Cotton, which is enough to make the largest uh, 4X to 5X size um, with four contrast colors. So um, thank you for joining me. See you next time.